Hello there, welcome to another video by RA Solutions. In this video, what I'm going to do is show you how to enable and disable Safe Search in Google Chrome. And um, the platform I'm using here is Windows 10, and it's the same principle you can apply if you're using Windows 11 as well. Now, there's different methods to do this on Mac if you've got a Mac OS, or if you've got an Android phone, or if you've got any, any other device but this video is specifically for windows 10 and 11 but before i do continue please like subscribe and share so i've got windows um, 10 opened up here and i've got my google chrome browser and i'm browsing on google chrome as a guest so what that means is basically on the top right I haven't logged into Google Chrome with my Google profile. It just means I'm logging in and I'm going to search the internet using a guest account or profile. So here at the top where you type the URL, I'm going to just type in the word test to bring anything back in my search results. And obviously here, because I'm browsing as a guest, it's come up with this um, pop up asking you to accept or reject. Um, the information there so obviously I've typed in test in the search and these are the results for that test and on the right side now Google has changed this feature somewhat um, so you can check out my previous videos there's uh, there's a few videos on Google safe search and they keep changing how they operate or they want new users to operate and navigate safe search so um, this is an updated video for 2024 um, so on the right here if you scroll across to the right you can see this cog icon here now if you click on the quick settings cog icon here it will open up this panel on the right and you can see straight away an option which says safe search now at the moment the default option for safe search is set it says there look blurring on so if i click on that it will open up this screen Now, what Safe Search now does, it gives you three different options um, to enable or to choose from, really, uh, depending on who's using your device at that time. If you've got children, um, you need to be ex especially careful ensuring they don't um, go on websites or navigate onto links with, with explicit or, or, or information which you don't want them to see. So it's a really good tool to manage the behaviors online really and to ensure you're enabling that online safety. So here for safe search, so this tool essentially helps you manage explicit content in your search results like sexual activity and graphic violence. So the default option is blur. So it will blur the explicit images but explicit text and links may show. You've got an option here which basically allows you to switch safe search off completely so that way when you're doing any search it will show all relevant results even if they're explicit but the top one if you've got young kids or family i would strongly suggest you enable this option here and continue having those discussions with your children about you know being responsible online and taking that accountability online and if there's anything they do visit um, that they shouldn't be they they inform you so that you can educate them about the use of um information online and you know navigating or coming across something they're not supposed to um, so this filter option is the best option to use if you've got children in your household so this one helps filter out explicit images text and links now there's further information here more about safe search so if you click on this arrow it will open up some more information so you can do some reading um, before you ch you're choosing which option you want to go for here it tells you the difference between blur filter and so on and so forth and there's more links here at the bottom if you want to check that out and how to set up your parental controls if you want to do that um, I'm not going to show that in this video but that's something for you to maybe have a look at or um, how to filter results for a school workplace or a home network some of you have asked me in videos how do you do this on a home network so check this link out here and how to fix issues with safe search there one problem if you've logged in as a guest so let's say i've switched safe search off there if i close my browser here let me just minimize all the screens go back into google chrome click on guest mode at the bottom here i'm browsing as a guest again do a search for test or anything that will come up again if i go to the right quick settings you can see it's 
because I'm logged in as a guest, it's not saved my settings, which is annoying. Um, it still, still says blurring on here, which is the default option. So that's something you need to keep on mind or keep in mind if you are uh, searching the internet with the guest account there. Let's close Google Chrome, open it up again and open up my RA Solutions profile and do the same thing here. Click on test. So I've logged in using my Google profile. Um, now here on the right side, you don't see the quick settings um, option anymore. You don't see that cog. Um, if I click on the three dots here, go down to find settings here, the cog will be displayed there. Click on that. If I go to there, you can't see safe search anymore here if you've logged in. Um, if I do a search in the settings option here, and this is a problem, you don't see safe search anymore, which is an issue. So what you need to do is in the URL part, you need to navigate and find or do the search for Google safe search. So Google safe search, click on enter, and you will see this link here, your safe search setting Google. So I've typed in Google safe search, and the results it's come back with is your safe search settings google click on that and you will see exactly the same options um, as you saw when we navigated to safe search on that guest profile now at the top in the url you can see the url it's gone to it's www.google.com forward slash safe search so anytime you've logged into your Google profile, you'll need to navigate to that URL to get to this page. What I would suggest is bookmark this here so it's always in your bookmarks favorites. Now, let's say at the moment the default is Safe Search has enabled the filtering of explicit material. Let's say I want to switch Safe Search off like this. Safe Search is now off. Um, come out of Google Chrome, go back in it. I'll go back in it with my RA Solutions profile, do a test like this. Um, again, to navigate to the safe search, I'm gonna type in Google safe search, top one, click on this, and you can see it's saved whatever I selected before. So it's off, but I'm gonna go back to the default anyway. Um, so that's just a quick and easy video how to handle safe search now with the new options of safe search where it's located how you can navigate to safe search um, on a guest account on google chrome but also on your google profile as well on google chrome i hope this video has helped you please like subscribe and share